Oh, my sister's calling me. You know what Malahi is, then hit me up. I don't create this table at the beginning of the year. Honestly, we have like three weeks till exams and I'm literally going so loopy. We are castaways. We are castaways. Good morning. No, it's not the morning. It's now like 5 p.m. But welcome to this vlog. Basically, I had a bit of a rubbish day. We had a university day. We had lectures and random admin stuff that we had to listen to. I tried to do work in between, but it didn't work. And then I fell asleep in one of the lectures because I ended up having like an afternoon slump and I made the mistake of um, doing the lectures in my bed. So that wasn't good. So now I've decided, right, girl, you need to get some stuff done. And I had a shower and then I brushed my teeth to make myself feel like it's a new day, even though it's like halfway through the day. Yeah, I don't know where this vlog is gonna take me or you. Step number one is I've got a lot of washing up to do. So let's get that out of the way. And then we're gonna make some coffee. If you've been following me on Instagram, I've spent way too much money on drinking coffee. But honestly, since everything's been opening up, it's actually been so nice to sit and work for about four hours in a coffee shop. But my bank account is so broke right now. Um, but it's okay, because my happiness in terms of coffee is here and my bank account is like here, but we don't talk about that. Um, sorry, mum and dad. Welcome to the almighty cupboard of goods. If you know what Mulahai is, then hit me up. I just want everyone to appreciate this amazing color gradient and I'm gonna give it a mix, so it's gonna go away soon. Right now, this is like my chair setup because it's that time of the month, so I need ultimate back support and I need my blanket to keep me warm as well. My desk is permanently like messy. As it approaches exam season, I always write random things that I always forget or like things that I just need to know, otherwise I'm just being dumb. I don't really know if half of this is in my head, but it is what it is. You have to wrap yourself in a throw and then sit down. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the fact I feel much more awake. The plan for the evening is to go through some renal medicine. I was just gonna go through some conditions. So there's this group of con conditions called glomerulonephritis, and there's like a bunch of those that come under that, and like nephrotic and nephritic syndrome. Um, and if you're a medical student, you will have heard of these syndromes and conditions. So I'm just gonna go through it, make sure I understand the differences between all these conditions and see if there's any key like niche piece of information that kind of differentiate um, conditions from each other. Mm. It's, so, it's so sweet, so, so nice. You know what, I don't need to go to a coffee shop, but I just like the vibes of going into a coffee shop. Anyway, sometimes it's frustrating because lead up to exams you kind of go over loads of things and sometimes you forget the things that you go over and like for example I'm going over something called um anchor vasculitis and I always forget like the different types of vasculitis because you get something called small um small vessel vasculitis medium and large so now I'm just kind of like look you just need to remember the different types some of the ways that like I try and remember things as by mnemonics. So for example, for the small vessel vasculitis, so how do you pronounce it? I came up with a mnemonic of GEM, which is G-E-M. Um, on here, I'll put a screenshot. I've got like all these gemstones as a picture to help remember that these are the vasculitis associated with that. Yeah. I'm gonna make my pasta today. So I don't have to make it tomorrow? Yeah, but batch cook. We had a university day today, which is basically like lectures the whole day. As in, it was good, but dead in terms of, because I was indoors. Yeah. I got a question on my YouTube channel about how I kind of go about having like a holistic overall view of like the conditions that I'm learning. Because obviously Anki, you're only getting like small snippets of the condition. You don't really get a full picture. And I basically use Notion to create like an overall table. And I don't create this table at the beginning of the year. This is something that I add to when I'm doing my Anki flashcards. And it's only something that I've been doing recently. And if you would like a full video of how I go about doing this and like certain tips and tricks that I use that kind of make my life a bit easier, then please like this video, um, comment down below if you want the video. And I think after my exams, I will do a proper extensive video of how I go about making these tables. Because when I'm revising, like just say like before bed and I wanna have a overall idea of what I've learned that day, 
it's a good way of going through the conditions and comparing and contrasting maybe the signs and symptoms, the investigations, so that I'm able to differentiate between different conditions when I'm doing the exam. So I hope that's helpful. Um, I'll insert a few screenshots here and there so you guys can see, um, and hopefully it might be useful to anyone out there as well. So just before I sort out my dinner, which I think is gonna be like burgers, I say burgers because I will eat two at a time because I'm such a fatty and like vegetables, roasted vegetables or fried or whatever vegetables I make. Um, anyway, waffler. Um, I'm going to go through the conditions I've just learned, compare them, contrast them and make sure that I've understood what I've learned in the past like two hours or so. Um, and then maybe edit this video, have dinner and then come back to the table for the next study session of the evening. So... Castaways.